live this is one for the record I'm Diane and today is February 29th happy leap year this only happens once in a and four years so this is a leap year and there's an old Irish tradition I believe there's other countries that do it that on leap year is the only time that a woman in their country our country I guess anything goes <laughs> that a woman can ask a man to marry them so heads up men out there be be aware that some lady might end up asking you to marry them all right so be prepared for anything all righty then let's move on the extinction protocol 2012 and beyond Mauna Loa, Earth's largest active volcano, is still stirring. So heads up on that. Alrighty then, that's in Hawaii. Also, volcano warning issued for Mount Io in southwestern Japan. Also, Ecuador's Tungahura volcano rocked by large explosions. Also, Hawaii declares state of emergency over Zika virus, dengue fever outbreak, Zika spreads in South America. Oh, heads up on that. Cliff collapses as 5.7 magnitude earthquake rocks New Zealand. Okay, that's the extinction protocol 2012 and beyond. Let's see what else is going on. Now let's go into the watchers watching the world. Floods today. Floods, landslides, and abundant snow across Italy claim five lives. Also, that's terrible. Today, pollinator species worldwide driven towards extinction. UN body warns. They're talking about the honeybees. They're going extinct. That's bad. Yesterday, JMA warns eruption of Mount Io possible. That's in Japan. I'm not sure if that's a super volcano or not, but it's pretty close to being one. February 27th, rare triple water spouts near New Orleans, U.S., they did catch that on a camera. We'll see if we can get a link to that. I'll put it in my recent uploads. All right, let's check the uh, uh, E&E News real quick. E&E News, Energy News, U.S. Canada, L.A. Times, Today, Ongoing Fish Famine Along U.S. West Coast, Death, I believe it's death, they put deers. Death of food across ocean. Severe fishery implosion. Supply has been low since 2011. Government expert looks very grim. It is hard to watch. Now, since 2011, what happened back in 2011? Oh, yeah, Fukushima went off. All right, and it's still ongoing. Hasn't stopped. It's ongoing. So, it is now one day down. I'm doing this a little early for you guys. Four days to go before the weekend. Remember, tomorrow is March 1st. Alrighty then, the rent is due tomorrow. We had an extra day this month, leap year, when women can ask their, their significant other men if they want to get married. <laughs> There's a movie out. There's a movie out about it from years back. You should, it's a cute movie. You should watch that. Maybe I could find it and attach it in my uh, recent uploads. Always check my recent uploads because instead of me reiterating, what I saw 
I'll put the original up there if it's on YouTube. So you get the news right away and don't have to wait for me to load stuff. Alrighty then. And uh, I want to do a, a quick free consultation on loyalty. I was asked this question. Loyalty to, a, to your specific, whatever job that you're working. So now that there are more more people are working part part time jobs gosh and they only schedule you maybe two days a week four days a week you don't know what the hours are going to be in advance in a lot of these jobs so you can correlate your second or even third job with it alrighty then I want to give a heads up a uh, free consultation especially to the people who run big corporations and expect their staff to be loyal. Number one, loyalty is to God and His commandments. It's, loyalty is to God. Let me make that clear. Number two, then loyalty is to yourself. And, and, then, and then others, pets, Whoever depends on you, because without you, you can't you can't do things for them. So number one is God. Number two is yourself and your family. There's a family, pets, and all that. Number four, then your job and others. And if you can't can't eat, pay your rent. Do not feel obligated to stay with whatever you're staying with, whatever position, job. It's easy for people with full-time jobs and they have a contract and they have guaranteed hours to say, hey, you should be loyal to the company. Even though we might all of a sudden cut you down to one day, four hours a week, you should be loyal. No. No, and don't let them... Don't let them feel guilty about it. All right, take care, and I'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. Be safe. Oh, before the music came on, I just wanted to say one more thing. <laughs> Can't help the phone. Remember, do not feel guilty. Your loyalty is first with God, His commandments, and then you take care of yourself. If you can't eat, can't pay the rent, be loyal to yourself and search for a job that might guarantee a certain amount of hours, have a contract. In life, nothing is totally guaranteed, except for what God says. All right, take care. Don't feel guilty if you got to start looking for another job. All righty then. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow on the flip side. Be safe.